Are you tired of relying on medications and looking for easy and sustainable habits to improve your heart health and blood pressure, especially if you have diastolic blood pressure? I want to dive into this video and share how small changes can make a big difference. I'm Dr. Khan and today we're going to provide you with specific advice on what to eat, how to manage your alcohol intake, improve your sleep to lower diastolic blood pressure. And I'm even going to explore some effective research-backed supplements. Yes, seven supplements altogether. This could of course be a whole another video on supplements. However, I want this video to be very comprehensive so that you can get the maximum benefit in this single video. I want to start by talking about what diastolic blood pressure actually is and how it differs from systolic blood pressure. So when you visit the doctor, they measure your blood pressure using two numbers, the top number being the systolic and the bottom number being the diastolic. Now think of your heart as a pump that delivers oxygen and nutrients to vital tissues throughout your body. The systolic pressure is the highest recorded pressure when your heart contracts and pumps the blood out, while the diastolic pressure is the resting pressure when your heart relaxes and fills with blood between the heartbeats. Now having a high diastolic pressure means that there is consistently high pressure in your blood vessels between the heartbeats, which can lead to artery damage and inflammation. Ideally, we aim for a diastolic blood pressure reading below 80. And the gold standard for blood pressure, of course, we know is 120 by 80. And when the diastolic blood pressure goes beyond 90, it's known as diastolic hypertension, which suggests that you do have high blood pressure just by this high diastolic blood pressure level of 90. So our goal is to maintain healthy readings for both the systolic as well as the diastolic pressures. And the tips we will discuss today in this video will help us achieve that. But here's the truth. Many conventional approaches fail to address the underlying causes of high blood pressure. They merely provide temporary relief or focus solely on symptomatic management. Over the years, I have developed the blood pressure boss approach, and this is to deal with blood pressure naturally. And if interested, of course, you can check that out in the description below. Now, number one is going to be so easy. Stay active with just walking. And contrary to what they tell you, you don't need to engage in intense exercise to lower your blood pressure. One of the best activities you can do is take a 30 minute walk every single day. Many of us aren't active enough and prolonged periods of sitting can increase our blood pressure, especially these days when we work on the computer so much. Just a 30 minute walk, preferably in the morning or after a, any meal of the day can effectively reduce your blood pressure. Then if you want to go to the next level, if you have 90 minutes of more vigorous exercise throughout the week, it can further decrease your blood pressure. However, even a single act of walking for 30 minutes each day can have a significant impact. It's a relaxing activity that you can enjoy with your family or during other enjoyable pursuits. I want to bring up this idea of a 30 minute walk daily because many people often feel unmotivated or short on time for exercise. However, a leisurely nice walk with your family, whether it's strolling with your dog in the morning or taking an evening walk with your spouse can greatly benefit your blood pressure readings, especially when combined with the better nutritional habits that we're going to talk about in this video. And just number two is gotta improve your nutrition. To start improving your blood pressure, it is essential to make healthy choices in your diet. If you take processed foods containing trans fats, that is one of the quickest way to raise your diastolic blood pressure. By adopting a clean and unprocessed diet filled with nutrient foods, you can swiftly lower your diastolic blood pressure. Here is an example. Uh, aim for a well-balanced meal throughout the day. Fill half of your plate with vegetables that you enjoy, preferably something that is green, as they are scientifically proven to reduce blood pressure. Then reserve a quarter of your plate for a protein source you love. The last and the remaining quarter you can consist of healthy carbohydrates or fats such as quinoa, possibly brown rice, or even a small portion of sweet potatoes. What especially you need to avoid is avoid processed carbs, avoid unhealthy fats. This approach simplifies your nutrition, ensuring that you consume proteins, veggies, and some unprocessed carbs and healthy fats. Then what I would like to suggest is that you have to include alcohol intake. This is what people forget a lot. Ideally, we should look to limit our intake to fewer than three drinks per week. However, if you're really serious about this, improving your blood pressure, aim for zero or just one drink 
would be even more beneficial for you. Just cut it down as much as possible. The alcohol industry, especially the wine industry, has cleverly marketed alcohol as a heart healthy uh, substance, but even small amounts of alcohol can negatively impact your sleep. By cutting down on your alcohol intake, whether it's low sugar wine or beer, you can reliably improve your blood pressure. Then the fourth thing I want you to avoid is if you smoke, avoid smoking. If you currently smoke, quitting or reducing smoking should be a top priority, my friends. Smoking is known to significantly raise both your systolic as well as your diastolic blood pressure. And if you can only focus on one thing from this list I'm talking about today, working towards eliminating smoking or secondhand smoking completely will likely have the most significant impact on your blood pressure as well as your overall health. Then number five is going to be the quality of your sleep. Fewer hours of sleep or poor quality sleep can raise your cortisol levels, a stress hormone that runs in our bodies. When you don't get seven hours of quality sleep, at least seven hours of quality sleep, your blood pressure can artificially rise. Prioritizing sleep is crucial for maintaining a healthy blood pressure. All the steps you have so far talked about right now, they also contribute to weight loss. So losing as little as 20 pounds can significantly reduce your diastolic blood pressure by 10 to 20 points. This effectively brings much of your diastolic blood pressure down to a healthy range. To achieve this, of course, focus on improving your nutrition by opting for non-processed foods, increasing your protein and vegetable intake, engaging in a daily 30-minute walk, prioritizing quality sleep, and moderating or stopping alcohol consumption altogether. And by combining all of these steps, you can achieve weight loss and lower your blood pressure. Finally, let's explore the power of natural supplements that can support your journey. And while many people believe prescription medications are the only solution for high blood pressure, they often provide only temporary relief. First, we have cacao, which is a dark chocolate powder without any added sugar and it contains polyphenols that help dilate, open up your arteries and lower your blood pressure by 10 to 20 millimeters of mercury, 10 to 20 points. Then I want to mention hibiscus tea and I actually have a separate video on hibiscus tea itself and it is scientifically proven to effectively reduce blood pressure. You could have organic hibiscus tea in the morning or you can space it out throughout the day. I just recommend that you use a straw just to protect your teeth from a bit of acidity. Then, surprise, surprise, you could try whey protein. It is known for, of course, its muscle building benefits. It can also help lower high blood pressure. And studies show that whey protein could be a healthy alternative to breakfast cereals, which are loaded in calories and sugar. Just having whey protein, almond milk, greens, and cacao powder, you can have a nutritious shake that naturally lowers your blood pressure and helps you avoid sugary and processed carbs often found in breakfast foods. I personally love starting my day with a whey protein shake as a delicious and a healthy breakfast replacement. Then we can talk about aged garlic extract. Now garlic in general is known for its heart healthy properties and it reliably stabilizes cholesterol and aged garlic is highly effective in helping out with blood pressure as well. Incorporating this basic supplement can be a significant way for you to improve your overall health as well. Then fish oil, good quality fish oil. And it is another incredibly beneficial supplement. It not only lowers blood pressure, but it also helps stabilize cholesterol levels and it promotes heart health. It's important to choose high quality fish oil from trusted brands, just keep that in mind. Then something which I call a magic electrolyte, it is magnesium. And magnesium is a fantastic mineral for relaxing, um, reducing stress and improving your arterial health. It acts as a muscle relaxant and it helps to relax arteries, lower blood pressure and improve sleep at the same time. Taking magnesium orally, especially at night, can enhance and improve sleep quality and help lower blood pressure as well. Now to put all this together and let's supercharge our morning routine, kickstart your day by hydrating with refreshing hibiscus tea. Sip on this delightful beverage while getting ready for the day ahead. Now add a protein shake with herbs and that will be a refreshing drink in the morning. Uh, then you can tie up your shoelaces and go on a 10 minute walk. It is a simple and enjoyable way to get moving and improve your overall well-being. This daily walk will do wonders for your health. Then be really mindful of your alcohol consumption. Be mindful and cut down on your alcohol consumption and this can be a positive impact on your blood pressure and your overall health. 
And then as I mentioned, quit smoking, kick off this habit. Take control of your health by cutting down on smoking. If you do smoke, your efforts to reduce or eliminate smoking will have a significant impact on improving your blood pressure readings as well. Then get a restful sleep. Incorporate magnesium in your bedtime routine. It will help you sleep. Taking magnesium before bed can help relax your body, combat stress and promote a better sleep quality. Then possibly at the end of the day, enhance your evening meal with two powerhouse supplements, fish oil and aged garlic extract. These additions to your dinner routine offer a huge amount of benefit, including lowering blood pressure, improved and stabilized cholesterol levels, and it would be good overall for your heart health. And you see, by incorporating these simple yet powerful steps into your daily routine, you are now making proactive efforts to improve your overall health and well-being. Remember, even small changes can yield significant results. Embrace these daily habits and witness the positive impact that you can have on your blood pressure. And you may also join this life-changing blood pressure boss method all in one place. That is the beauty of it, that it is all in one place. Anyways, this is what I talk about in this channel, blood pressure, diabetes, medical devices that could help you and how to live longer and happier lives. If this is of interest, do consider subscribing. Thank you and check out this video right here. I believe this could be helpful. Thank you so much.